We're waiting, waiting, patiently waiting, right? We're all waiting for the hand tracking update for the Oculus Quest. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but this is pass through plus. You can see the distortion uh, because it's mapping the depth. It's kind of remapping the image to the actual depth. So when I back up, this is how I like to have it set up a little bit with a stationary boundary. Then you can poke your head through the stationary boundary. But in looking for updates to this, I see that one person has confirmed hand tracking. Look at that. Sarah Hoagland. So I wanted to pour a toast to Sarah as the first one that I've noticed to have the hand tracking. Let's see if I can do this <laughs> with the pass through cameras. Okay, pass through pouring as we all wait for hand tracking. Oh, this is very trippy. Quite, quite trippy. Okay, Take the cap off. Can I do the pour with the touch controllers hanging from my wrists? Here we go. Congratulations. To everyone patiently waiting, we will soon have hand tracking in the Oculus Quest. And if this isn't the most psychedelic beer pour I've ever experienced in my life, I don't know what is. All right. Cheers, everybody. I don't know which camera to toast. That one, that one, or the pass-through. Which pass-through camera is it? It's one of these. All right. Ooh, that's a strong brew. Bourbon barrel stout. All right, so yeah. Just a quick video update to satiate the masses. We don't yet have hand tracking, but we're waiting. We are patiently waiting. All right, thanks for watching. This crazy pass through camera video, drinking in the pass through cam. Who would have thunk it? Who would have drunk it? Let's update our quests. We need hand tracking right now. Bye.